In this video, we're going to briefly discuss the structure, structure of the atom. This is the very foundation on everything that's going to uh, follow in regions chemistry or in any chemistry class that you're taking. So knowing this and understanding this is so critical. So the first thing we need to talk about uh, is the nucleus. Okay, so let's kind of draw this. It's a very densely packed, very tightly packed uh, group of particles. Because one thing I should also say is the atom, even though in many ways it's considered to be indivisible, it actually is divisible. In other words, it's made up of little smaller particles, particles that make up the atom, uh, which we could break apart and take apart uh, if we wanted to. Uh, even more, if you're curious, protons and neutrons and all that stuff, those are even divisible, but we won't get into that. Okay, so here is what we'll call the nucleus. And again, this is the tightly packed core of our atom. What's inside of it? Well, we can kind of imagine there's a lot of little tiny particles inside of it that are all bunched together in this ball. Okay, In the nucleus, we have protons, which I'm going to label with a P for now on instead of writing it out, and neutrons which I'll label with an N instead of writing it out. Okay, And we'll talk more about these two in a second. Uh, the next thing we need to know is what about the other third particle, which are electrons. Electrons are, now, depends on what model you're using, but for our purposes, they are essentially rotating around the nucleus in different levels. You can almost imagine this like the solar system. This is, that's why it's sometimes called the planetary model, because you have your kind of sun in here, and then you have your planets here. Well, in our planets, in this case, are our electrons, electrons, which we use symbolized with E minus. Okay, so the electrons are flying around uh, in various shells, as they're called, uh, flying around the nucleus, and this is your atom in a nutshell. Now, let's just break down a little bit about the protons. Every particle has both mass how much it weighs, essentially, and charge, what kind of electric charge it has. So let's look at the proton. The proton, now, it has a very specific weight. It's, you know, 1.67 blah, 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 uh, times 10 to the minus 27 blah. We don't really need to know that for this beginning part. For now, all we have to say is that it weighs a unit of 1. Okay, and that will be become more clear what I mean by this when we go on to another video. Its charge is positive, and we can just call it a positive 1 charge. The neutron, as you might expect from its name, is neutral, so it has a zero charge. It also, however, weighs one, same as a proton. Now the electron weigh, uh, has a charge of negative one, so it balances out the proton, and it's got a mass of, it's not exactly zero, but for our purposes, for the purposes of calculating weights of atoms, we're going to call it zero, uh, even though it's very, very small. It's like zero, 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 five something. Um, so, this is the table we need to know about the atom, and in another video we're going to show you why this matters and why it's important. So let's go on to another video.